Hello everybody, this is me, Kyle Martin TV, and today I have an unboxing video for you guys. Yes, believe it or not, I'm actually doing an unboxing video for once. The last time I did it, my hands were actually worse, so last time it was a motherboard, the X, was that 370? Yeah, I'll have that in the corner right there. And yeah, if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to drop a like, a comment, and make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell so you can get notifications on future content from me. Alright, so here we go. This case is the, what was it, a NZXT H510, that's correct. Uh, I have the, right now I'm currently, I have the S340 from NZXT. And I kind of wanted to build another PC, so got a case here. And yeah, so I'm not going to build it. I'm going to have a separate video for that in the future. But I am going to be using, I'm, I'm going to try to use my older parts in this. Or no, th this is going to be the brand new PC. And then my older PC is going to be my streaming PC. So I'll be able to do content a lot more often, a lot better. So yeah, let's get this started. Yes, I cut towards myself because I'm a weirdo. Don't even talk about it. Okay, I kind of want to hurt myself. But... And I know I'm just using a stupid utility knife, but you know what? It's what it is. Whatever works, right? Okay, so I'm just doing this with one hand because I currently don't have a mic, uh, camera stand yet. I'm Or a tripod. I'm trying to order one soon. I'm not sure one, but I should have it by the time I do the full build. Okay. So I'm just going to set that on the couch. And let's see here what we got. It's a big box. I even put it as a gift because I didn't want my parents to know that I got a case. But they were like, oh, we're spending, this is what we're spending rent on. Yeah, so I just got some kind of useless paper. I'm just going to set that on the floor. All right, and here we go. NZXT H510 compact mid tower ATX case. All right, just kind of trying to make this one easier to take out. Instead of, you know, having me work for it. Okay. Here we go, the NZXT H510. Flip it around, see what's on the box. Okay, so yep, it's just showing the case design. So you got the power button, the USB 3 port, the USB C port, and then the audio jack. And they they made it only a one instead of the two, which used to be, you know, audio and, and mic. Here's the case right here. Black red is the one I got, because that's the one I have now. The S340 that I have is black and red, and currently, and that's pretty much my favorite colors so for a case probably. Let's just see any other extra packaging we got here. So on the side, and then a front view, and it's saying it's got USB 3. It's got a tempered glass window installs with a single thumb screw. We got a patented ca uh, cable route with pre-installed and straps, so that's nice. And then we also got a removable radiator fan mounting bracket. And then we got the dimensions here. We got the material that's used, the weights, what motherboards it supports, all the I/O that's on it. And then this is the clearance, so the CPU cooler up to 165 millimeter, GPU clearance up to 381 millimeters. Now that's important for later if you, know, you want to put a, like a giant graphic card in here. Cable management length, radiator size, and then the reservoir size and pump. We also got a two. We got three for internal 2.5 drives, SSD drives, and then 3.5, three of those. And then seven PCI expansion slots on the back of the case. And then it comes with a two year warranty. We could have got more if you wanted to. And then this is just showing all the fans that you can put in. So you can either put in uh, to 120 or 140s in the front or the top, one over one the other. And then we also got a rear one. Now, NZXT comes with uh, two fans included. 
one at the top and one in the rear. You can change those out. Uh, you could put some in the front if you want. Those aren't included. And then, yeah, and then, here we go. All right, so this one thing on that side. And then I think that's just my shipping information. But it, it says ships to Amazon. It ships from NZXT. So this is just like English, French, and all that. Or not, not English, Spanish, I meant. Okay, so here we go. Grab our blade. All right. Now let's get to the goodness. You know, I really don't do unboxing videos that often. But, you know, I decided to now that I got a GoPro that I'm using for this video. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for all my videos that I do. Like, you know, I don't usually do videos that are, like, not involving gaming. My, I mean, this does involve gaming, so there's that. But, you know. Okay. I'm just going to open up the flaps here. And just like before, we're going to lay it on its side. And pull the bad boy out. Just don't want to make it a loud thud. Squeak. Squeaky, squeaky. Okay. So there she is, uh, she's sideways, this is the back, that's the top, or the front, I mean. Um, shouldn't there be like extra stuff in here? It's probably inside the case. Should I should not break the glass or anything. I'm doing this on a glass table. Okay. Just want to be very careful. thing isn't being friendly. There we go. Pull out. Okay. Alright, and now the beautiful part. The voila. Come on, do the voila. I guess, oh. Jeez. I know this is one of my best videos, but you know, I apologize for my floor, you know, it's what it is, right? I'm probably going to have to rip out the carpet and all that, but you know, it's because we've been getting a lot of flooding and stuff. I should be using the shop back bore more, but you know, it's what I, there's only so much one man can do, right? This is really nice compared to my old case, actually. Alright, there we go. Just on the feet or something. Yep. Okay. Alright. Lots of stuff. So here we go, we got a frontal view here. Very, I mean it's not glossy, that's just cause uh... There, pull it towards... There we go, okay. It's just a giant black box, you know? Here's the iOS show before. Buttons pretty much exactly the same. Ooh, this is nice. Show the back or the side, the right side. It's just, you know, it's just got these holes. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there you go. The holes in the side for eat more ventilation than the previous one. All right. Then we'll show the rear. Yikers. So we got the rear fan right there. We got the IO. Got the 7 PCI expansion. I just got my serial number, which we can rip off. Use for later. If I can even. Here we go. Okay. Okay, then we got the power right here. Let's see, we have the included cables for the. Um, what's it called? 
the uh, USB, uh, the, the, this, the front header, I think it's called. Okay, and let's just do one more lift. You know, I'm getting fingerprints all over the glass already probably, but here we go. You can see me, hello. That's because it's pretty reflective. But you know, we got that classic red thing, which I like. It actually goes all the way down and towards you this time. It's a nice case. I got caution, tempered, handle, uh, tempered glass, handle with care. And you got the NZXT logo. And yeah, you also got that motherboard, like the back piece, so that you can, you know, fit your all your cables and all that, which I really like. This is looking like a nice case here, guys. Really, I'm really looking forward to this because, like, this whole panel doesn't come off. It's just the tempered glass. And it'll be able to show all of it. Even the radiator, if you install one right here, it's going to show everything. Which, I mean, my, my previous case kind of did too, but... That aside, let's get to the favorite part of everyone's unboxing videos, right? The juicy plastic, um, plastic wrap here. So here we go. Oh my. Yeah. Not so satisfying, is it? <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, and then this sticker is still here, which, yeah. I don't like you. Get away from my case. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh, no, it's leaving a residue. How dare you. How dare you. Okay, and that's basically the unboxing. I showed you all that there is. Now we could take off the thumb screw. It's it's kind of weird, like like from my previous case, like it doesn't include standoffs or or anything or or are they pre-installed? Dude, the the standoffs here. I'm gonna take off the the single thumb screw here. You know, get a look at that gorgeous hand, I know. I have been putting steroid cream on it for my prescription, so it is getting better. But remember, the last unboxing video I did, my hands were a lot worse, and that was years ago. And that's a, that's a dank thumb screw right there compared to the one I had before. I'm trying to focus, but I don't think this camera is really good for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I really don't want to break this. Oh, oh okay. 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 Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just going to set this over here somewhere. Like, just, you know, okay. So, yeah. Um, here, I'm gonna put the case on its side again. Actually, we should probably open up the other, the bat, the side here. Let's see if you can see. I mean, you can only see the bottom, but let's get these off. It's, it's weird. This thing, this case is kind of weird, like with how the side is. Like, there's not like a thing I can tug at to get it open. It just kind of comes out. Okay, here we go. Alright, so as you can see, now there's that patented, pat, patented, uh, they already have some cable management set up for the fans. So you see this cable right here goes to that fan up there, roots all the way over there. And then yeah, it goes into all of this because this is the uh, motherboard stuff that you would plug it into. Got uh, two fan headers, USB 3C front panel connector, and what is that connector right there? I don't know. Let's look at it more closely. Might be for the smart cam or whatever. The, um, this cable right here has a cap on it. Is that a SATA cable? What is this for? I don't quite know. 
kind of looks like a SATA cable almost, but not quite. I don't know, but yeah, you got the you got the front USB three. You got the front panel. You got the fan header. And you got the other fan header that's just dangling right here. It's the rear one. Oh no, this one's the rear one. This one's the top one. Wait. How how am I gonna be able to get this all the way to a motherboard? <laughs> Beats me, right? I don't know if, if it's still recording when my screen goes away. I hope it is. Okay, so yeah, we got the pre-installed like front IO. Well, it, it is. Oh, is that? Oh, I think it's USB-C. I think it's a USB-C to the motherboard, right? I'm trying to see, but yeah, I think it's USB-C maybe. Huh, interesting. Okay, so yeah, we don't really have much to show you. Um, there is the, the right here, the filter, dust filter for the power supply. Which is neat. Um, the last one I had was very crappy. Like it wasn't like connected to anything. It was just this crappy, flimsy. It was literally just the mesh. Okay, and then that's not cool. Okay, that just the mesh. Seriously, right? Okay, so this is a lot better. If I could slide it in pretty nicely. So yeah, I'll actually keep that one on. Just funny because where's the? Yeah, they even got like a dust filter right here, which is cool. Um, I think there was another dust filter somewhere else. But what about my mounting bracket for my power supply? Is it in this NZXT case right or box right here? I hate these kind of boxes where you have the have the two folds. Stupid box. My my mounting bracket better be in here. Okay, so first we got the manual. You know what we do with those? Hmm. And we got all this, so we got zip ties, we got, it's like standoff. Whoa, 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 is that? They got 3.5 millimeters in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Now, I know that this is longer than the, than the, uh, like probably, you know, the reviewers and stuff like, but you know what? I like to be a little bit more personal about it. Okay, so this looks like a replacement Oh, no, no, no. This is for, like, the power switches. I thought this was already baked into the... Oh, this is just HD audio. I thought they had it, like, all baked into... Oh, yeah, they... No, because you'd have to plug those in individually on the motherboard. And then this, this, this end right here... My thumb is... Plugs into this front panel. Oh, so you just plug it into there. That's actually cool. Okay, now what I was looking at was this, this thing right here, and an uh, adapter. What's this? Oh, so this is just so you plug it in, and you could still have your, I guess? But like, they're both the same. Oh, one has a mic on it. Oh, so it is still recording. It just the screen goes gone. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm. This is my first time filming a video with this camera, so. So yeah, they got the mic on there. Kind of hard to see, I know. Then they got the headset on the other. Okay. And then we got then we got the standoff tool here. And one standoff, I guess the other ones are just pre-installed. Because that's what it looked like to me. We got uh, five by ten screws. Um, not really sure what those are used for. They're probably just replacement screws, you know. You got zip ties. You got hexagon screws. We got M3 flat or M3 5F flat screws. And then the last thing, I can grab it. Uh, flat screw 632 flats. That, that's kind of that's a lot of uh, replacement cables there, and then nothing else in this box. Okay, so yeah, that 
it's gonna wrap up this video for now um oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. wait okay so we, we also got the ssd like we got uh, ssd brackets right here too so i could actually just put these here because they actually don't on this case oh my that's that doesn't sound great so the last case i had an s340 uh, it, had, it had the mounting brackets, the SSD mounting brackets. They had it inside, like, on the front. Or the side, you, you, like, the where, where your graphics card is and stuff. But now, they decided to change it up a bit. And see, now they got vent holes right here instead. And then th that actually makes it a little easier. Like, it looks like there's, yeah, there's definitely more space right here, like, from the motherboard, and, like, there, that, that opening is nice. I'm going to enjoy building in this case. It's gonna be so fun. We've got lots of holes, uh, for you to cable route. This, this right here, this clearance, where you would route the ATX power, or not the ATX, the CPU power cable, that looks like that would route nicely, which is really nice. Now, these fans, you know, they're just regular NZXT fans, but... They are different. I think these are intake fans. So they pull air inside of the case, both of the fans, the, the top and the rear fan. And they like kind of, they pull it in, CPU gets hot and all that. And then the graphics card is meant to drive it out. That's crazy. Cause like all my expansion slots, like I got rid of these metal things, like the mesh with the holes in it on my old case. So yeah so this is looking really nice you can even throw a rad in the front if you wanted to and yeah all around i'm really liking this case i honestly really can't wait to build in it i can't wait to have a brand new computer in here it's gonna be fun i'm just gonna need like i need a motherboard power supply or not power supply i need a motherboard i need a processor and then i need ram and that's it because i have a graphics card I have it over here, but you know, I'm trying to avoid the floor here a little bit. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we got we got this graphics card. So I am planning on putting this in the streaming PC. It's a 6870 one gigabyte. And yeah, this was in this was in an OEM PC. This was in um uh my brother's old Alienware computer, like, from, like, 10 years ago or something. And now my other brother has it. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna... Because, you know, I'm, I am gonna put the new stuff in here. But I might... I, I kind of want to just install the power supply in here now, but I'm not going to. Um, here we have this power supply right here. Because this is the first original power supply I bought. But then stuff happened... And I, I thought it was the power supply that was at fault. Oh, what is this? Is this 80 bronze? Where's the bronze? Where does it say 80 bronze? It's got to be bronze, but I don't, it's not saying bronze. Anywhere. Hello? Anyways, it's probably 80 bronze. Like, it doesn't say it anywhere, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's not saying. Five, five year warranty though but yeah so i'm gonna i, I kind of want to put that in this because it doesn't matter because it's a 600 watt power supply and my my other one that in my current pc is like an 850 like which is completely overkill like you don't need that like ever unless you're like you know doing sli or crossfire or something like that but yeah so i really hope you enjoyed this video i know i did and yeah i'm really excited I really, I really hope that, you know, you guys come back for my motherboard unboxing that I'm going to be doing and my CPU box unboxing. I don't know what I'm going to get for it yet, but, you know, like, I can't lean AMD or Ryzen. I'm just going to get what's cheaper. Like, I, I saw the the, uh, the Ryzen CPU was actually more expensive than the, the Intel processor, so we'll see, we'll see. Because the Intel processor, it's like a i5-10-400, it's 6-core, 12 thread. 159.99 and the Ryzen 5 3600 is $200. So, but the motherboard is more expensive on the Intel side cuz I have to get a B550 and those usually are above $100, which my like for my current system, the uh for, you know, Ryzen like the B560 or something. Uh, I I probably I'm messing it up, right? But anyways, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I made it a little longer than, you know, it had to be. 
but I really hope maybe this informed your purchase decision or, you know, you just wanted a, a case review from a subscriber with not that many numbers. But anyways, I wanted to do this just to get a video out there for the new year and everything. And, you know, I kind of want to do more in-person um, videos like this one. Like, I don't really do that that often, you know. And yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please rate the video, like it, comment your thoughts, subscribe for future content, click that subscribe button, and hit the bell for future notifications from me. And yeah, take it easy, peace out, have a happy new year.